Well, hello there. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, ScienceCraft. In this series, we will be taking a look at real-life science while playing some Minecraft. You might even learn a thing or two. This series will consist of several mm, mini-sodes. I think I'm really going to enjoy this, and I hope you will too. I was inspired by another YouTuber named Spumwack. His science videos are amazing, and I encourage you to go check him out. His link is in the description. Tell him that I sent you, and tell him I said hi. In this first episode, we are going to be looking at one of my favorite building blocks in the game, diorite. Diorite is an intrusive igneous rock. Now, all igneous rocks are formed from rock that has been completely melted and then cooled back into solid rock. There are two types of igneous rock, extrusive and intrusive. The easy way to remember the difference is that extrusive starts with X, just like exit, so it's formed outside of the earth, while intrusive starts with in, so it cools inside the earth. Since diorite is an intrusive rock, that means that it is formed from magma, or melted rock inside the earth. Intrusive igneous rocks usually have a coarse grain texture, or large visible crystals, like the ones you see here because it is well insulated by the surrounding rock and cools very slowly. Diorite and andesite are similar rocks. They are made of the same minerals and they are found in the same regions. The only difference is their grain size. Diorite has large crystals because of the slow cooling, while andesite is an extrusive igneous rock, so it cools very rapidly on the surface, causing much smaller crystals. Diorite is an extremely hard rock. That makes it difficult, but not impossible, to carve detailed works, such as statues. Historically, diorite was used by ancient civilizations, such as the ancient Egyptians. They would use balls of diorite to work granite to a fine polish. Its hardness also allowed it to be polished and used in jewelry. Another frequent use of diorite was for inscription, or carved words. It was easier to carve words in diorite than create a three-dimensional statue, Perhaps the most famous diorite inscription still around today is the Code of Hammurabi. The Code of Hammurabi is a well-preserved Babylonian law code of ancient Mesopotamia, dating back to about 1754 BC. That's nearly 4,000 years. It is one of the oldest translated writings in the world. This original stone can still be seen today at the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Because of its durability, Diorite became more popular as a structural stone and was frequently used as a pavement. Diorite was used by both the Inca and the Mayan civilizations, but mostly for fortress walls and weaponry. In later times, diorite was commonly used as cobblestone. Today, many diorite cobblestone streets can still be found in England, Scotland, Ecuador, and even China. Although diorite is rough textured in nature, its ability to take a polish can be seen in the diorite steps of St. Paul's Cathedral in London, where centuries of foot traffic have polished the steps to a nice sheen. As you see, diorite is not only a great addition to our Minecraft building palette, but also has many uses in the real world, today, and throughout history. Thanks for watching episode 1 of ScienceCraft. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, have a great day. Bye guys.